Hello students. Okay, we're going to continue with the idea of working with different units and simplifying ratios, but uh, the difference is in this, uh, this video we've got word problems. Now, the secret, of course, to word problems is read the question carefully, read the question carefully, make sure you understand exactly what information you're given, so read the question carefully. Hope I've made my point. Okay. Pardeep is making a fruit punch for a party. She mixes two and a half liters of juice with 1.25 liters of soda water and 750 mils of ginger beer. So write the ratio for the three parts of the mixture in simplest form. So obviously what we're going to have to do here is convert everything into the smallest unit, which is going to be milliliters. Okay, so to convert liters to milliliters, we multiply by a thousand. I might even just sneak that in there since I got a bit of space. So that's going to give me um, 2,500 liters of juice. In fact, I'm going to show you something that we'll be doing a lot of later on is when I start working with real life problems is I like to actually label what each of my numbers is. Now, using abbreviations like GB for ginger beer is perfectly okay. So in this case, so I'm, I'm letting you know which, uh, which order I'm putting them into. I've got juice is to soda is to ginger beer. So in milliliters, that's 2,500 milliliters. Now I don't need to write the units because I'm going to write all the, I'm going to turn them all into the same units. 1.25 liters is 1,250 milliliters and 750. Okay, so there's the ratio, not yet in simplest form. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by 10, which gets me down to that. And I think 25 goes into each of those. So if I divide that by 25, I'll put my little arrow divide by 25. What's my new ratio? Oops. Like so. Well, 25 in the 250 is just 10. 5 goes into, sorry, 25 goes into 125 five times. You could get a calculator if you needed to. And 75 divided 25 is 3. And that's the answer in simplest form. Okay, next question. What fraction of the mixture is ginger beer? So the first thing we have to do is work out the total. Again, we're going to work in milliliters. So I need to add 2,500 milliliters to 1,250 milliliters to 750 milliliters. Okay, well, this one's actually not too hard to do in my head because I can add those together first, and that gives me 2,000, and 2,000 plus 2,500 is 4,500 milliliters. So that's the amount of mixture that I have, 4,500. What fraction of that is ginger beer? Well, the ginger beer is 750 divided by 4,500. I can divide both of those by 10. That gives me 75 over 450. Once again, 25 goes into each of those. So 75 divided 25 is 3. Uh, 4 25s in 100. Uh, so there's 16 25s in 400 plus 2 more is 16 plus 2 is 18. And finally, I can divide both of those by 3. And in simplified form, one-sixth of the mixture is ginger beer. Okay, let's go down and look at this last question. Okay, party mixes the punch thoroughly, then divides it equally into three smaller containers. How much ginger beer is there in each container? Well, this is actually quite a silly question, because I'm not going to use ratios for this. I know that I have, let me just scroll back again. I know that I have 750 mils of ginger beer. So in this case, 
750, it's divided evenly by 3. That means each container contains 250 milliliters of ginger beer. So I suppose the point of that question, and didn't mean it to happen, is uh, sometimes you don't need to use ratios. You can answer questions in a simpler way. Okay, I'd like you to try these questions, please. So stop the video. Okay, welcome back students. Uh, once again, read the question, read the question, read the question. It helps for a lot of students to underline as they're reading. So last year, Gloria grew two tons of peaches in her orchid, but her crop this year is down by 800 kilograms. So it's down by, it's the, this year's crop isn't 800 kilograms, it's gone down from two tons. So write the ratio of last year's crop to this year's crop in simplest form. Well, let's go ahead and convert those two tons to kilograms. We multiply by a thousand, so that's 2,000 kilograms, and a crop is down by 800. So therefore, this year's crop is 1,200 kilograms. So now it's going to be fairly simple. Write the ratio of last year's crop, which is 2,000 kilograms. Again, I don't need, oops, I'm going to do what I said I like to do, is write some words. Last year and this year. Okay, so last year's crop, we have to work in kilograms, that's the smaller unit. So last year's crop was 2,000 kilograms. I'm not going to write the kilograms because I've got the same units. This year's crop we worked out is 1,200 kilograms. Simplifying, we can cross off a couple of zeros, really dividing by 100, of course. That leaves us with 20 is to 12 and what divides into both of those evenly? Well, I think the biggest number is 4. So divide by 4. 20 divide 4 is 5. 12 divide 4 is 3. And the simplified ratio is 5 is to 3. Okay, right, this year's crop is a fraction of last year's crop. So that's my numerator. And that's my denominator. So this year's crop was 1,200 kilograms. Last year's crop was 2,000 kilograms, okay? And it doesn't say to do it, but imply it is in simplest form. So I can knock off two zeros. That gives me 12 is to 20. And both of those I can divide by uh, 4. 12 divided 4 is 3, 20 divided 4 is 5, and the answer is 3 fifths. Okay, and the last question. Write the decrease in the mass of this year's crop. Well, that was 800 kilograms as a percentage of last year's crop, which was 1,000. Whoops, that's wrong. Last year's crop was 2,000 kilograms. So the fraction before I simplify 800 on 2000, once again, I can divide by 100. And that gives me 8 over 20. Notice when we're answering percent questions, we start by writing a fraction, I can divide both of those by 4. And that gives me 2 over 5. And 1 fifth is 20%. So 2 fifths is 40%. So there's some word problems involving um, measurements, and we had to convert to a common units to do them.